Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our December 2022 energetic overview, angelic messaging. So to begin, I can tell you, let's start with the individual first and how it might affect you. Now, this is general, so if you want a more personalized way of looking at December, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Also check out the description box because I have lots of lives coming up that talk all about going through times like this. And of course, for December, I will have lots of lives about the dates, the number frequencies, and how to tap into that for like 12-2-2022, you know, 12-12, so on and so forth. So check those out in the description box. Now, the whole thing about December from an individual standpoint, it um, can look a little bit like resolution or if nothing else, sticking a pin in the problems. Now, that's not that unusual. This is a uh, holiday time. So some people may choose to just bury the problem so that they can get through the holidays. Um, that uh, Definitely that's what some people are doing, but probably not the healthiest you discern what is right for you and your dynamic. But for others, it is this real realization and shutting down anything that's going to steal your peace. Now, let's let's break that down a little bit. That does not mean that you go around judging people or acting like everybody else is to blame for how you feel and you know, doing the spiritual sidestepping, the false positivity, you know, being delusional about that. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about, I can handle this. Sorry, I had to let my hair down. It was falling out of the clip anyway. Oh goodness, sorry. All right, so anyway, (laughs) what were you saying? So we're, um, you know, just trusting ourselves to observe, as I say, observe and don't get invested or to look at things for the way they are, Maybe if there's room for some compassion there, um, you know, it just kind of lightens your own load. Now, this whole harmonizing, learning how to harmonize, learning how to be fair to yourself and to others, that's a big theme. (laughs) That is a really big theme. And uh, when we get into that place of, yes, things are going to be stressing us out. Yes, there are going to be things happening. A lot of us, I'm recording this in advance, and so November hasn't completely played out. I replaced the pumpkins with these little snowy trees. Okay, there will be more to come later, but (laughs) that's what I had on hand to do for December. But, um, you know, there might still be things happening in November that I haven't even seen play out as I'm recording this that we might be reeling from, okay? All of that's going to happen. This is more about not expecting a perfect existence necessarily or to have everything in place the way we want to see it, but rather we can process this. We can learn from this. We can come through. It has this feeling of community. And yes, we might say, well, that again is really easy because we have the holidays. I don't know about y'all, but I don't think I've ever seen people act nicer at the holidays. (laughs) Not really. It's more chaos and competition. And uh, if you've ever had to travel during the holidays, you know what a nightmare that is. And, you know, people just not being kind. This is more of a, okay, I I see someone being unkind. I'm going to set my healthy boundary and then you get no more of me. Okay. So this is definitely a dynamic of if you do come from, let's say, God forbid, an abusive family or it's like narcissistically abusive or whatever, and you go to, if you celebrate Christmas, you go to a Christmas event and they start in with their stuff and you just look at them and go, "Uh uh-huh, they get nothing out of you. And when they start getting upset, it still doesn't bother you. You're just watching them deconstruct and you're not doing anything. It's not like you're trying to punish them or anything. It's just... You're not letting them at you, okay? Now, this is not encouraging fighting. That's not what this is. It is a spiritual, loving peace, opening up to divine love and embodying that. So be doing your higher self meditations. I have lots of meditations on my channel, so go and check those out. And yes, you'll see an 11-11-1 and a 10-10-1, one, but you can use those anytime, okay? So, you know, be working on that. This is definitely Archangel Gabriel season, Of course it is. Of course, you can work with any archangel you want. But (laughs) Gabriel is all about 
um, being at peace and um, sort of leveling out things that have come before so that you could be feeling nurtured, um, clear, and, you know, inspired. That's what Gabriel helps us with. So creating something new. Gabriel's all about conception. So keep that in mind. Uh, giving birth to new ideas, uh, new situations in your life. If you might be going into labor in December, I have some family, uh, well, a family member that is about to go into labor. Um, and uh, that's supposed to be around Christmas. So we'll see. Yay. <laughs> but um, but yeah, if you're, if you're going into labor in December, call on Archangel Gabriel to help you go through that. But in general, if you, uh, you know, Gabriel helps oversee sort of the infant part of you. So we talk about the inner child, but really think about that innocent part of you. Gabriel can help with that healing the inner child. If you get triggered by things, um, Metatron can help with the inner child as well. But this is definitely a time of, I don't want to put energy into something that's not going to bring joy. I don't want to fight anymore. That's as if individuals, as humans, okay? So people who are not acting human, this don't apply to them, okay? They're, they're not going to be acting like that. They're going to be acting like how they always do. So some things that could come from this time, the frequency. Remember, time is not actually linear, but just this little bubble of time right here. Um, think, think like, um, you know, the whole thing of going within, but really coming beyond, really being able to go, I, that doesn't bother me anymore. That doesn't trigger me anymore. I see what I, I know who I was at that time. I experienced that. Now I see how much I've grown out of that. The stuff that maybe you would have dismissed before. Um, you know, this is that kind of thing where let's say you live in the city and you've just always been working, working, working. You're just always going, going, going. And you think that's the life. You think that's the way to live. And then you go off somewhere beautiful and peaceful and you're surrounded by nature and you get a sense of what real beauty is. You get a sense of what real peace is. Um, maybe your soul feels safer to come up to the surface, right? Like a little bit more embodying um, some of that deeper divine energy. So this, dare we call it magical? I hate doing that because because <laughs> I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to encourage delusional thinking or anything like that. But as far as, and it's not even about the holidays, it's not even that. It's just um, honoring that we're all still here, honoring that, you know, yeah, I'm hearing life cycles, that we've all, and life cycles as in every chapter. So kind of coming into this time and maybe working with Archangel Jeremiah where you do a little bit of a mini life review where instead of going, oh gosh, I can't imagine that the year is already over. Looking back over the year and going, man, I had a tough time with my job and I came through. Or I had a tough time in my job and I know I'm going to make it and I'm going to have a fresh start. Or I can't believe I was in that dynamic and I finally got out of it. Or for some of you, you might go, all those people who tried to come into my life, I saw them for what they were. And I got my distance, right? So having all those kinds of moments, give yourself credit for that. December's about chilling out, okay? About chilling out and um, having gratitude to yourself and to others for everything you've been able to come through. This would be a wonderful time to do a practice um, of thinking about all the times people were kind. And... You know, the ego might immediately say, nobody was kind. What are you talking about? Mar, 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 mar. Um, I bet if you think about it, there was some kindness that came your way. Even if it was as simple as somebody's holding the door for you or letting you go in front of them in line or something like that. But overall, this is a very excellent time to do angelic work. What does that look like? It looks like working with your angelic team through meditation, there's lots of different breathing practices that you can engage in to get you into that angelic realm, okay? Uh, again, I hope that you guys signed up for the uh, Angelic Self Live because I went into all of that. But going into that part of yourself, feeling whole and complete, being 
for just like for a moment being rid of all the ego drama right and being able to collect yourself recharge and and all of that and um and then coming back in and remembering the divine love you know what i'm saying like working with the angels um you know they might give you they'll give you messages on whatever you're asking for but you know this is really taking it to heart and understanding that you're not alone that it does, these don't have to be dark times they you know, we'll talk about outward here in just a second but um you know you don't have to see yourself in a negative light you don't have to see yourself as powerless you don't have to see your situation as hopeless you're going to see you're going to see the real path that you can go down okay so that is happening for mostly individuals okay could this look like harmonizing in family dynamics not for everybody you know why that whole false narrative of make peace no matter what is utter bs i said it i'll say it again it's utter bs if you have people who have dark energy and they have um scapegoated you your entire life you know i'm not saying go on in there and you know <laughs> start rumbling you know what i mean it's not that um but you don't have to go in and uh you know, have to kiss up to them so they don't abuse you. You feel me? I know a lot of uh, people are like, no, peace is the way. No, that, that is a very upsetting narrative. And it makes me wonder where you're getting that from. Do not force anybody to be in peace. Peace is something they find on their own. Through their own process, their own journey, their own forgiveness in their own time. That is not something anybody else gets to dictate because of a date on a calendar. Just know to preserve your own peace. Maybe that means you don't go around certain people this time of year. Or um, maybe you start to say no. Not in a cruel way, but just no, I'm not going to be doing that. I have my reasons. I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that. And of course, people who are always used to saying yes... They might try to start something, but the whole idea here is that you can handle it. Whatever is coming your way, it's like, no, I am solid in who I am. You don't get to have my energy. I decide who I open myself up to. I decide, as I was just saying, when I'm ready to forgive. I don't think there's a more toxic thing than people telling you to overlook bad behavior, to put up with abuse. To just do whatever, to go along, to get along. I think that's so toxic. Uh, and and like I was saying before, force people in a room to talk who aren't ready to talk. Forcing confrontations. These are all things that you are free, especially the confrontation. Like, oh, you have to get along with this person because we're all going to be at the same events and it's making me uncomfortable. So you have to get along. Toxic. Ooh, that goes down a whole other road. Um, uh, you can say no to that and say, I'm in charge of me. And, and I, in my own good time, will do X, Y, and Z, okay? So it's empowering. It's, um, you know, the angelic presence is really strong. It's strong all the time, anytime we invite the angels in. But especially during this time, because so many human minds are so sort of trained on to, these human minds are focused on uh, things surrounding the holidays, right? And holy and, you know, all this stuff. Um, they bring angels into that. So because of that focus it amps up the energy around it. So that makes it really easy for you to get into uh, a meditation and angelic space and work with the angels. Okay. So there's that, there's the individual part of it and what you can do with that. What's going to be happening out in the world. We're going to see clashing. We're going to be seeing, you know, the more people kind of stand up in their silent peace and their, um, they're doing the practice to allow divine love in. They're getting into their higher self. They're they're on the level of the angelic realm. They're, they're doing that kind of work. Bigger entities, as in like corporations, um, you know, rich people, uh, people in charge of uh, governments and, you know, all that kind of stuff. They're going to maybe feel like their power is slipping away. You're going to see them act out. You're going to see them. We're seeing it already in, in certain places where it's like the thing that has been hidden from us, the true source of power that has been um, 
yeah, just sort of taken away and diminished. You're weird if you practice spirituality. You know, that's that's one method that this is done to kind of suppress it. Or on, oh, that remote viewing stuff is so crazy. That doesn't happen. And yet certain places are using it. Um, <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to see this power structure, okay, that once thought it was invincible. We're realizing uh, it's a straw man. We're realizing it was nothing but cardboard. And we can just kind of come up and knock it over. And it really is a time of people getting their power back. Again, on a large scale, there's going to be backlash for that as people who don't care about others, who are carrying a dark energy, um, are going to do everything they can to maintain their status, their whatever, okay, their power, all that stuff. And so they're going to be fighting back. We're going to be seeing a lot of that. Um, okay. So what happened in Poland? We might see more of that. Uh, there will be from now on, so God knows when, talk of almost. Did you see that? Almost. Did you see that? Because these powers are kind of going in each other, going, don't test me. You see, you see, I did a little bit of that right there. I'm not saying that that's what happened in Poland. I have no idea. But, um, you know, the, the energy here is I'm trying to interpret this. It, it's a sort of thing of like poking each other and then trying to squash all the people that are trying to speak up for themselves. And then it, it's like, it's like a weird board game. I would not, I'm literally seeing a board game. I swear to God, if we're being run by people who literally see this as a, as all of our world safety as a strategy game, like a, a board game kind of thing. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> but just be ready for that. And when I talk about the difference between the individual experiencing this energy and whatever is happening out in the collective, the collective does influence us, obviously. So the more you are doing that real work that we talked about, right? The more you're doing that, you'll see it for what it is. And it's not even a mental thing. It's a whole being thing that says no. Now imagine if a whole big collective, there's more of us than there are of them. The whole big collective goes no, 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 no. Now I'm not saying that just within these four weeks, we're going to be seeing all kinds of different changes. I mean, maybe, but um, it's a big learning time. It's a big learning time and it's not all happiness. It's not, you know, there are a lot of people who are making an unbelievable sacrifice and, uh, you know, they're, they're getting their place in history, but trying to make change and, um, all of that, but but stay in your power. Stay in your power. And when people, again, there's this whole feeling of trying to regain control by scaring people by, um, you know, it's just the, some of the stuff that we've already seen here in November. I'm in Colorado Springs. So if you know what happened here in Colorado Springs, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that sort of thing. So there is a battle happening. But the good is an army. And and if we want to lean on one another, that's the thing we need to be understanding when we see stuff happening out in the world. It's not meant to divide us further. It, it's supposed to bring us together and have us be cooperative with one another. But if people are short-circuiting, flat out losing their minds, um, being influenced, and that influence to action is um is being I mean it's it's like I said influence so it's being controlled I don't really know what that is but um doesn't feel great um and it feels like a shield over the entire earth kind of thing so I don't know if that's like an electromagnetic thing or you know all that kind of stuff now as I said there are going to be powers in place that are trying to scramble to keep their power and so um, I've heard over and over many times it's going to be a dark winter. Um, 
I would say, yeah, I'm with, I'm with people on that. I'm with, I feel that too. And yet it's just meant to scare us. It's just meant to scare us and get people panicking. But, you know, when you are physically prepared, well, you know, um, but also spiritually, mentally, and emotionally prepared, I'm here to talk about the spirituality part of it. Literally everything that's trying to scare you and steal your peace, you find a way to make the best of it. That's what this is. This may be a time where each and every one of us realizes just how strong we've become. And, uh, you know, during the past couple of years, we have learned to live differently, to, again, make the best of whatever is in front of us, right? I really don't want you to go into this time thinking everything's going to be perfect out in the world. It's not. There is a huge battle raging and, um, it's an internal one. So you have to be your own best warrior and protect your own energy field and be kind and cooperative. Drop the games, drop the games. And, uh, honestly, that's what's kept us in this low place would be things like people experiencing, um, some sort of hurt or pain and turning that into a manipulation game or turning that into, I have to make sure I'm the best and, um, you know, whatever, you know, diminishing everybody else. Um, that really weird and scary narcissistic wiring. Cause it's funny. Cause if you look it up, there are textbook signs and once you know what the signs are, you can predict their every move. It's bizarre. It is bizarre how predictable and once you know how transparent they can possibly be, right? It's that kind of thing that has kept us from coming together. It is that very kind of thing that has made it so we can't trust. We got to watch who is around us. And so we haven't come into our collective power. December isn't necessarily salvation, but uh, it's a step in the right direction for us as individuals if we allow it. Okay. So let me know what you think about that. Leave your comments down below. What are you picking up on? You know, this is just the information that's coming through me. What do you feel like this month is going to hold? All right. So we're going to leave it there. I love you all so much and take care.